Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Hey, welcome Club. back. Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, so it's a de dating novel simulator or something. Mm -hmm. We'll get, yeah, you'll see. She yeah, then, I guess. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine, almost robotic. <laughs> she knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Downloading inflection. <laughs> it's like she studied it. Yeah. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a it's natural? Like, it's like some of her words are bold and or italicized. <laughs> I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. It's almost as if they're transfixed, like in a trance that a robot would have. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. It's hate. She's drooling. Finally, Monica finishes this with a recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles and screams, What is this noise? <laughs> Why are you barbarically pressing hands together? <laughs> <laughs> that, that was so good, Monica. Uh, ah, ha, 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 ha. Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Oh, I'll go next. Ah! Yuri, Yuri's fired up all of a sudden. Yuri. Y what is Ua? Is that like wow? I don't know. It's okay. Like, ah! Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Uh, Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It's called, After Image of a Crimson Eye. That's fucking weird. <laughs> Yuri's voice shakes as he starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she so suddenly putting in so much effort? Why am I talking to myself? As Yuri gets past the first Why couple of lines- Why am I talking out loud while she's trying to recite a poem? <laughs> as Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her uh, voice changes. I, uh, uh, <laughs> it's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she's finished. Her brains must be soft and <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. B -b Banana poop! I have a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward. We give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. Yeah, that's what I'll say to her. <laughs> As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. She trips over five potatoes and falls. <laughs> She's hurt very badly. <laughs> but we laugh anyway. <laughs> then I eat a Monica potato. <laughs> Monica uses her healing factor. <laughs> Her finger transforms into a syringe. <laughs> I didn't know she had this power. <laughs> She's an interesting girl. <laughs> Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay. <laughs> She's done. <laughs> I guess I'm next then. Say Yuri, say Yuri hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Not your meadow. <laughs> my neck. My beto, my pussy, <laughs> and my meadow. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Sayuri. It's a lot harder than I thought. Fucking do it right. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, <laughs> uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins, I mean, Sayori begins her poem. It sucks. So, somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. Lighting a powder keg of shitty poetry. <laughs> 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 the poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost, almost gives it a whole new meaning. Perhaps this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I got to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Hey, when are we going to get a bathroom break? 
I say out loud. <laughs> Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. Hey, even friend Aaron likes it. Eh. I guess that's a good sign. <laughs> what does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that the other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. It's okay. All you need to do is preserve that sweet, delicious brain of yours. <laughs> I mean, in other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. New fingers. <laughs> The next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Your brain does not release the proper juices unless you are challenged. <laughs> okay! Now, who's next? Natsuki. Hef! Don't make me go for Fred Aaron! It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Fred Aaron lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. Might as well go get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terrible. Oh, this would awkward. be a hard point to start masturbating. <laughs> I recite my poem. Especially since two of them are looking, like, sort of disapprovingly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Hairbo girl and robot woman are into it. <laughs> Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put the energy into it. Sorry, I was just punching my fist. <laughs> Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really... <laughs> you suck! <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something I'll, that'll improve over time, though. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. All right, then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've been I'm writing poetry going. for 72 hours. Plenty of time to master the craft. <laughs> Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? Because you're present. Oh, pre because you're presenting. Uh, anyway, the poem is called Jump. It's by Van Halen. Natsuki takes a breath. Go ahead and jump. <laughs> <laughs> when she starts, when she starts reciting her poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. <laughs> Back and forth with the rhythm and the rhyme. <laughs> it's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The worlds feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't bad, was it? Is it for you to say? You'd better not make me do it again! Uh, well, d d do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? Additionally, you are powerless to prevent me. <laughs> I have the strength of a thousand people. I mean, doing it in... That, that was weird. <laughs> Has anyone noticed that she kind of talks like a robot and, and like says never, robot things? She never looks at me. <laughs> well, anyway. Just stares straight ahead. I guess it's nothing. I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people, but when it's just my friends, it's just, it's embarrassing. <laughs> robot girl really does have a look on her face that's like, I can't believe my agent got me into this. <laughs> He's fired. Jesus. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, it's just how it is, so... Maybe, I guess, in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. Especially since you won't be there, on account of your brains being sucked <laughs> out of your head. <laughs> that said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem, and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting it all... Shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're pulling... Put... 
<laughs> you put in a lot of effort. <laughs> it makes me really happy. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Ready to go, Sayori? Whoops. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Look at you two. I always go honey like that. It's kind of Edoradel, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, to be uh, around all that hot muff. <laughs> How am I supposed to respond to that? <laughs> it's okay, friend Aaron. You have to say it. I know my muff is hot. Whatever, let's go already. Okay. <laughs> I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori's being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Uh, sorry. sorry. I was spacing out. Uh, no I'm wonder. I'm still spacing out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in space! <laughs> um, uh, uh, oh, shit. Whoa, oh, whoa! Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, that's if you want the Zork text adventure <laughs> version of this game. I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to. I mean. Sayori fumbles with her words. Sorry, I'll go home. <laughs> Sayori fumbles with her words. So this is one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh. I would still walk home with Sayori. Nice. Sayori, you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Hell yeah. But <laughs> she's so beautiful and smart. Yeah, that's true. None of those things describe you. Yeah, but you know what? She's not here, so I can answer this question <laughs> falsely. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, friend Aaron. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sayori, so, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never gonna happen? The conversation trails off. The next time on Game Grounds, we'll oh. find out where that goes. Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> Quit boxing me into a corner. You're fucking smothering me. All we do is walk home together. <laughs> my god. Are you fucking hurt? <laughs> uh, you would tell me, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs>